to be the best place to be a child. Question number 12, the Honourable Paula Bennett. Uh, thank you, sir. My question is to the Minister of Employment and reads, does he stand by his joint press statement with the Minister for Social Development of 16 March 2018, which said, quote, seasonal work can be a good option for many people looking to get back into work and for some could provide the type of work, life and meaningful employment they are seeking, end quote. And if so, what is his policy response to job seekers in the Tasman district who would rather stay on the dole, then take up one of the 7,000 fruit picking job vacancies that are available. Okay, I, I'm just going to ask the member to ignore the additional words that were in the question over and above what was here. The Honourable Willie Jackson. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Speaker. In response to the first part of the question, of course I stand by, um, by my statements. Uh, as, for, as for the second part, the policy response for job seekers remains the responsibility of the Minister for Social Development. Uh, does he stand by his statement that, quote, people have commitments, end quote, as reasons that unemployed New Zealanders cannot pick fruit? And if so, how many commitments does an individual need to not have to show up to work? Good question. Mr Speaker, um, uh, of course I stand by my... Order. Order. David Bennett. Once again... Um, you have interjected involving me in the answer and what we're going to do is um, have you on a, an interjection ban for the rest of this question time and tomorrow. Oh. Order. Now, Willie Jackson. Thank you, uh, Mr Speaker. Of course I stand by my uh, statements in terms of people having commitments. The member fails to understand this isn't about being tough, this is about being caring and compassionate for all those people who make up our communities. This is a government that's been clear right from the start that we are a caring government and we want to see people do well. And as a former Minister of Social Development, that member should know that. Mr Speaker. The Honourable, right Honourable Minister. Uh, can I ask the Minister as to whether or not his department has given him reports that suggest New Zealanders cannot pick fruit because their hands are too big, as was said by a former National Party Minister? <laughs> <coughs> Mr Speaker, no, I, I haven't quite seen those uh, reports yet, but uh, I'll wait for them to come over my desk, uh, Mr Speaker. Great. Supplementary. Has he discussed this labour shortage with his colleague Shane Jones, who said of unemployed people not in education or training that, quote, they'll be made to go to work and there will be no more sitting on the couch? Oh, Mr Speaker, I've had many wonderful conversations with Mr Jones. Uh, I can't, uh, and I think we've, dis we've, discu we've discussed that many times and sometimes we agree to disagree. <coughs> Supplementary here. Coffee. Sorry. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. Why does the Minister believe that seasonal work can be, quote, a good option for some, end quote? Kia ora. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, I believe the information uh, collected by work and income indicates that for some, seasonal work is a good option. For example, we have seen many Kiwis placed into work in the Hawke's Bay for short durations. For others, as I keep saying, there are barriers that need to be considered, such as travel, childcare and health, all of which can make them unsuitable, uh, sir, for short duration placements. Supplementary. Should unemployed never-do-well ne NEFs sitting on the couch in the Bay of Plenty, the Hawke's Bay and Tasman be expected to pick fruit if they are physically able? Um, Mr Speaker, again, and I suppose it depends on the circumstances. Sometimes... Sometimes, Mr Speaker, yes, and sometimes no, because they have family commitments and they can't just walk away from their family at the drop of a hat. Does he agree with an RNZ report that some job seekers would rather stay on the dole than pick apples, and does him constantly excusing people on the dole from working help? Uh, Mr Speaker... Uh, yes and no. <laughs> so it doesn't help. It doesn't help. 
So what sanctions would he apply to job seekers who had tried picking fruit, lasted only half a day and would rather remain jobless? Mr Speaker, in terms of uh, sanctions, I have no delegations as the Minister of Employment for sanctions. However, currently Minister Cipollone has a wide-ranging review of the welfare system, and I fully support the review and the work that the Minister is currently doing. Ooh, supplementary. So if unemployed New Zealanders in the Bay of Plenty, the Hawke's Bay and Tasman with commitments are asked to work and don't show up, does he believe the welfare system should sanction them? Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, again, as I said last week, it's not black and white. It depends on the circumstances. Obviously, there will be some who have to go through that process. The other side of that is that there are some Re there are some real excuses why sometimes people can't travel. Like Farno, they can't just walk out on their kids. Like no transport costs. Like no accommodation costs. There are a lot of reasons, but it, uh, it is not just black and white, as the, uh, as the member well knows. Supplementary. No, that, that concludes oral questions. I call on government order the day number one. A point of order, the Honourable Jerry Browning. Uh, Mr Speaker, I seek leave for 